Oh yeah. Get a load of this. It's merch. We got merch now. We got merch, people. No, I'm just joking. It's, uh, that's false. One of those shirts, yeah. One of those shirts, yeah. It's the back of a shirt because, you know, I got my name printed on it and I said I wanted Quantum Avo. And they were like, okay. So I am wearing this t shirt back at the front. That's right. Looks a bit, looks a bit weird, but we can make this work. Um, <clears throat> I just need a bit of my G fuel here. No, it's actually just water. Mm. The best drink, in my opinion. What are we talking about today? We're talking about a lot of things. First and foremost, is a uh, is um uh, a herb, and not just any herb, but the herb, Herbie. If you haven't heard of the Herbie franchise before, it's about this Volkswagen Beetle. Here's my unfinished Herbie, and uh, he talk. Uh, he doesn't talk, but he has human traits. You know, um, which sounds weird. I know, but it. But he does. He does, and they were critically acclaimed. They got rave reviews and a lot of people hold them quite dear to their hearts a bit like the star trek films you know a bit like that they keep making them despite all the the fantastic reviews that they're getting you know they just they just power on and good on them you know a bit like a uh, mortal Kombat. oh oh they keep and they keep making them which is great so anyway i've been watching the herbie movies recently watched every Every single one of them, you know, there's one in the 80s, and then there was one in like 2006 or something, fully loaded with a, with a <coughs> Lindsay Lohan, uh, hello. And there's this other one that wasn't part of the collection that I got. This is a franchise that spans, I don't know, 30 years. So they started around the 70s, I think, with the love bug. Um, love this movie, and I also love the sequel. I love all of them. Especially love Herbie Goes Bananas, man. I've actually got a review for that. I'll link it below. I did write a review because that one was just, <clears throat> you know. There is actually an Italian chef in that one. Who's pretty funny, but you know who's more funny than him? Captain Blythe. What a joker, guys. His sense of humor. It's it's down pat, you know. Love it. You know, down pat. Oh, I'm getting off into a tangent here, but I used to I used to say down packed. Not down pat, you know? Because I thought it was, you know, you pack it down like you're packing a suitcase and trying to get that stuff down. Down pat. Down packed. And I can't stop saying down pat, which is probably a good thing. I've also been, also been uh, rather busy, guys. Oh, far out. I've also been really busy, guys, because uh, I've been putting on a show, which is, this is actually the t-shirt for the show here. Don't know why I didn't tell you that earlier, but that's why I haven't been able to been able to put on the the series which stars me you might have seen in my last chicken asmr video I, I i teased this web series and it is coming together it's a lot of editing guys it's a lot of a lot of episodes you know a lot of a lot of content there that i want to edit properly and spend time with it and make sure it's the best i best best thing i can put together it's not going to be the best thing i put together no it's just it's a bit of fun really but hey hope you guys like it and that is coming along i've also been rather busy reading this book here to be editing it's david attenborough's so it's semi-biography but it, it's not really that it's more about the actual planet can I actually show you guys his photo without it there we go that's a bit better it is a library book i love the library great resources uh you know free books it's great it works because i it's materialism, you know? You don't you don't need to keep the book. You can just read it and put it back and then some other reader can read it and you can maybe you can bond over it. Maybe you'll be at the beach and you walk in your dog and you go, Hey, to a stranger. Sorry, that's a bit creepy. But you go, Hey, do you read this book? And they're like, Yeah? You go to the library too? Yeah. Doesn't everybody go to the library? No? Well you should. Because it's great, and you pick up things like this, and this is just such an important book about the planet and its finite resources and how we can fix things. Because the main message of this book is that it is possible to rewild the world. It is possible to go back and change stuff. It really is. So I highly recommend this book. Hope you guys get out there and read it, because... I love the stuff that is in here. It's really inspiring. It's really devastating, but it's really inspiring as well. So that's all I have to say on David Attenborough's new book, A Life on Our Planet. Mm. 
Hello guys, I think it's time to finish up this video. I just wanted to tell you that I've been watching the, the Herbie movies and they're, they're, they're great fun. I highly, highly recommend them. But anyway, time for a wrap, guys. Let, let's wrap. I want to wrap about Rotten Tomatoes and uh, how they keep giving the Herbie movies, uh, you know, really a really positive sort of consensus, you know, because that's what they do. They gather all the critics' reviews, whoosh, and then they go, Whoa, this, is the, this is the majority vote, you know, this is what... The majority of the critics thought this is a pretty average rap, guys, but I hope you enjoy it. I'm just gonna get it up on the thing. Here. Rotten tomatoes messing with my life. Rotten tomatoes putting me in strife. You see, I like Free Willy. It's my favorite movie, as is the second, third, and fourth movie, which I haven't seen, but I know it stars Bindi. Point is, I looked him up on the fiery fox, and to my disgrace, I found the critics didn't give a. F it was outrageous and evil, twisted and bent. Rotten Tomatoes had given them under 50%. How can it be that my favorite movies that had a jib I thought was cut like expensive salami be bad? Rotten Tomatoes, what is your game? You wouldn't call these movies bad unless you were insane. I know your game. It only took me a second. You heard my telepathic calling. The time to put Free Willy as a fresh movie beckoned. And so today, if you Google Free Willy, you will only see 3 in 10 people that think it is silly. That's what I'm talking about. And yet, what about the rest? You think the sequels are awful? And the threequels a mess? And the fourth call? That didn't even get a critics rating. Rotten Tomatoes. Putting me in strife. Rotten Tomatoes. Messing with my life. Telling me the film is rotten when I think it's fresh. Telling me the film is certified fresh when I think it's dreadful. Man, check out An American Paris. Wonderful movie. <gasps> I've run out of water. Better get some more. Because I'm so dehydrated, I might uh, collapse on the floor. Smash the avocado, guys. <sighs> it's good. It's good.